Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the algebraic expressions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now before we answer this example class, you're told to find the variables, the constant, the coefficients, and the terms. We need to understand more what is an algebraic expression. I'm sure class very easy to answer number one class if you really understand what is an algebraic expression. So let's define what is an algebraic expression. An algebraic expression is a combination of variables, constant, and algebraic operations. So this is an example of an algebraic expression. We have given 5x plus 4y minus 7. So let's talk about variables, constant, coefficients, and terms. Now a variable is a letter or symbol that represents an unknown number or quantity. A constant is a number that never changes within an expression. A term is either a single number or variable or combination of both. Terms are separated by plus or minus sign. And then a coefficient is a number or symbol that multiplies a variable in an algebraic expression. Sometimes that's this coefficient, we call this one as numerical coefficient. Okay, once again, plus this coefficient, sometimes we call this one as numerical coefficient. The number that multiplies a variable. Alright, so let's identify class what are those variables, constant, coefficients, and then term with this given algebraic expressions. So once again, class, variables, those are the letters. So this one right here, this x, and then this y, we call this one the variables. Simple as that, class. The letters, class, we call that one the variables. X and Y, we call that one variables. And then the number class multiplies the variable. This is what we call the coefficients. So this one right here, 5 and 4, we call this one as coefficients. Alright, so these are the coefficients. And then the number alone class, once again, the number alone without the variable, we call that one constant. So this is what we call constant. The number class alone without the variable, we call that one constant. So once again, class, our constant is negative 7. Include this operation, class. This is negative 7. So therefore, our constant is negative 7. Our variables, that would be x and y. So variables, that would be x and then y. Okay, our constant, that would be negative 7. And then our coefficients, so I will just write coefficients. Our coefficients, that would be positive 5, comma, and then positive 4. Now, for the terms class, separated by plus and minus sign. Once again, class, terms are separated by plus and minus sign. So, therefore, we call this one term. First term is 5x. So, terms. So, our terms class, we have 5x. And then we have 4y. So, 5x, first term. Second term, that will be 4y. And then the third term, we have negative 7. Once again, class, include the minus sign. So, our third term, that would be negative 7. That's it, class. Simple as that, class. Once again, the variables, those are the letters. Once again, variables, those are the letters. We have x and y. Our constant, that would be the number alone without the variable, without the letter, the number alone, which is negative 7 for our constant. And then coefficients, those are the numbers multiplied the variable. So these are the numbers multiplied by the variable. So we have 5 for our coefficients, 5 and then positive 4. And then the terms class separated by plus and minus sign. So these are the first term, second term, and then third term. So first term is 5x, second term is 4y, and then the last term that would be negative 7. Include the minus sign class. Third term will be negative 7. Simple as that class. Alright, so let's have number 1 for us to really understand this one. Let's identify what are the variables, constant, coefficients, and then terms. So let me just erase this one class. Alright, so let's have example number one. Let me just copy the algebraic expressions. We have 4a squared b minus 9c plus 2. So once again, class variables, those are the letters. So this one, a, this is the variable. b, this one right here, this is the variable. And then c, this will be a variable. So therefore, our variables, we have a, b, and c. So variables, there will be a, b, and then c. Simple as that, class. Alright, so let's talk about constant. Once again, class, constant, those are numbers without the variable. So, that would be the number alone. 
So therefore, this will be our constant. That would be positive 2. So therefore, our constant, that would be positive 2. And then coefficients class, those are the numbers multiplied the variable. So this one right here, 4 and then negative 9, this is what we call coefficients. Numbers multiplies the variable. So this one right here, 4. And then this one right here, negative 9. Once again, class, include the minus sign. So this is negative 9. So this is coefficient and then coefficient. So therefore, our coefficients, that would be positive 4 and then negative 9. Always include plus the minus sign. This is negative 9. So positive 4 and then negative 9. And then this will be the terms. This one right here. This will be our first term. So our first term, that would be 4a squared b. That would be our first term. Our second term, this one right here, include the minus sign. That would be negative 9c. And then our last term, that would be positive 2. That's it, class. That's the answer, class, with regards to example number 1. Easy as that, class. Alright, so we're all set for number 1. Let me give you another example, class, for you to really understand this one. Let's have 5 examples, class. Alright, so let's proceed now to example number 2 and the number 3. So our given algebraic expressions, we have given 8p minus 6 q squared r cubed plus 10. So once again, variables, those are the letters. So we have P, we have Q, and then we have R. So that would be P, Q, and then R. Simple as that, plus you're done with the variables. So once again, constant is the number alone. So we have given positive 10. The number alone, that would be positive 10. And then coefficients, those are the numbers, multiplies the variable. So, once again, we have 8 and then we have 6. Once again, class, coefficients, those are the numbers, multiplies the variable. So, we have 8 and then we have 6. So, this will be positive 8 and then negative 6. Once again, class, always include the minus sign. This is positive 8 for our coefficients and then negative 6. So, positive 8 and then negative 6. And then for the terms, once again, terms separated by plus and minus sign. So, this will be our first term. This one right here. This will be our first term. That would be 8p. And then our second term. This one right here. Once again, include the minus sign. Second term, that would be negative 6q squared r cubed. And then our last term. This one right here. Positive 10. And then positive 10. That's it, class. That's the answer with regards to example number 2. Easy as that, class. Alright, so let's have example number 3. We have given 1 half x squared minus 3xy plus 7z minus 10. So let's start with the variables. Once again, those are the letters. So we have x, x, y, and then z. So once again, class, if you have 2x, count it as 1 class. Do not forget about that 1 class. Count it as 1. So we have x, we have y, and then we have z. So those are the variables x, y, and z. If you have 2x, count it as 1 class. Once again, count it as 1 for the letters class. So x counted as 1. We have y and then we have z. And then for the constant, that would be the number alone. So this will be our constant. That would be negative 10. Once again, class, include the minus sign. Therefore, our constant, that would be negative 10. And then coefficients, those are the numbers multiplied the variables. So we have 1 half. Okay, 1 half, we have negative 3. And then we have positive 7. So those are the coefficients. 1 half, negative 3, and then positive 7. And then the terms separated by plus and minus sign. So we have minus sign, plus, minus sign. So these are the terms. This one right here. So 1 half x squared, first term. Second term, this one right here, include the minus sign. That would be negative 3xy. Alright, our third term, this one right here, we have positive 7z. So we have positive 7z, 7 and then z. Our last term, we have negative 10. Easy as that, class. You're all set with regards to example number 3. Alright, so let's have two more examples, class. And then I will give you one last example for you to answer that one. So let's have number 4 and then number 5, class. Alright, so let's proceed now to example number 4 and then number 5. Our given algebraic expressions, we have given 5ab 
minus 2bc plus 3cd minus 4d squared. So once again, let's start with the variables. Those are the letters. So we have A. Okay, we have A, we have B. So we have B, we have B. Once again, counted as 1. We have two Bs that will be counted as 1. So A, B, and then C. So counted as 1 and then D. So therefore, the variables that will be A, B, C, D. Simple as that plus. So next, that would be constant. So once again, constant is the number alone without the variable. The number alone. Do we have it here for our constant? Nope. There is none. So just put none plus. Okay, once again, we don't have a constant, the number alone without the variable. We don't have it here. So therefore, simply write none. And then coefficients plus, once again, those are numbers, multiplies the variable. So this one, this is the coefficient. We have 5. Okay, 5, we have negative 2, negative 2, we have positive 3, and then negative 4. All set. So 5, negative 2, positive 3, and then negative 4. These are the coefficients. And then terms, once again, separated by minus sign or plus sign. So this one right here, our first term, we have positive 5ab. And then our second term, this one right here, once again, include the minus sign. That would be negative 2bc. Alright, our third term, this one right here, we have positive 3cd, positive 3cd. And then our last term, this one right here, include the minus sign. We have negative 4d squared. Alright, so that's it class with regards to example number 4. And then last example, example number 5, our given algebraic expressions, we have negative 4 pq squared plus 7r cubed minus 2p plus t. So the variables, we have p, we have another p, once again count, counted as 1. So we have two p's but counted as 1. So p, and then we have q, and then we have r. So that would be p, q, and then r. Constant. Do we have a constant plus a number alone without the variables? Yep, we have the constant. We have positive 3. So our constant is 3, positive 3. Coefficients, numbers, multiplies the variable. So this one right here, negative 4. We have positive 7. And then negative 2. So once again, let's always include the minus sign. So negative 4, positive 7, and then negative 2. And then for the terms, this one right here, this will be our first term. We have negative 4pq squared. Okay, the other one, this one right here, the second one. We have positive 7r cubed. And then the third one, we have negative 2p, so negative 2p. And then the fourth one, so therefore we have four terms, positive t. So, for example, number 5, we have 4 terms. Same with number 4, 4 terms. Alright, so that's it, class. So, you try this one, and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let me check, class, if you really understand our topic. So, number 6, given 6xy plus 9x squared minus 2y squared z plus 11. So, you try this one, class, and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let me check, class, if you really understand our topic. So once again, I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, class, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.